all heard of Slack before. It's a team communication platform that is used to better organize and orchestrate communication through the app's channels. It's widely used by many businesses, individuals, as well as teams. Now, what makes it so excellent is the fact that communication and collaboration is super accessible and it's super easy for anyone to basically get started with. You may wonder, what could elevate this platform even further? Well, the answer is quite simple, with the implementation of AI. Now, how so? Well, you can use AI to automate certain tasks within Slack, which would increase productivity, and it can efficiently help your teams handle certain types of tasks. So what is this platform that can help us with this? Well, this is where I'd like to introduce RunBear, a no-code, low-code platform that bridges communication channels with large language model applications. It's enabling businesses to quickly and easily integrate AI into your workflows. This is not only something that you can integrate with Slack, but you can also integrate it with various other types of communication channels like Microsoft Teams, HubSpot, Zendesk, as well as Discord. With RunBear, it's going to enable you to create a custom AI assistant trained on your organization's knowledge, capable of answering internal questions seamlessly. With support for tools like Slack, Discord, and Microsoft Teams, you can deploy your AI assistant in just 10 minutes, which is going to streamline communication and save a lot of time. You can also elevate marketing efforts by deploying a customized AI assistant tailored to your needs. With RunBear, you can build a campaign assistant for platforms like we had mentioned before without any sort of code required. And this will basically streamline your tasks, improve engagement, and drive efficiency in your marketing campaigns. Now, those are just two simple use cases of RunBear. There's so much more to this where you can have it integrated in various areas like internal support, you have customer service, and even productivity. And there's so many other types of use cases as to what you can do with RunBear. So how does it work? Well, it works with a three simple step process. You first start off by connecting your Slack workplace. From there, connect it to your AI from RunBear and then you can start using AI within your Slack workplace. And this is where it's gonna then forward messages using natural language, and then it's gonna be able to assist you in various ways you tailor the RunBear AI assistance. So how can you get started? Well, it's really simple. Head over to the link in the description below so that you can head over to runbear.io. Once you're here, click on the get started button and sign up with an account or log in if you have an account. But you can easily sign up with a Google account or by filling out the contact fields over here. So like I mentioned before, you're going to first start off by registering your organization. Once you have done that, create your assistant, which is something that we're going to take a look at. And then we're going to connect the assistant to the channel. So let's get first started. This is the main dashboard of RunBear. But what we're going to be doing is starting off by configuring our assistants. This is where we're going to start off by adding and creating our assistants and then having it linked up to the different integrations. So let's go ahead and click on add assistant. This is where we're going to start off by building the assistant from scratch. So you can use the OpenAI assistants that have been built from OpenAI's models. You can use Anthropic Cloud, Google Gemini, or even Perplexity API. Now, you also have the ability to connect existing AIs with custom GPTs, Python SDK, you have LangServe, as well as OpenAI assistants. In my opinion, I'm going to go ahead and use the OpenAI assistance as this is something that is best for general purpose use cases within Slack. Now, we're going to be creating a simple Q&A chatbot that we can deploy within RunBear. Now, the great thing with RunBear is that they provide a lot of different templates. You can see there's a Q&A bot, but you have various other templates for email drafting, as well as summarizing the thread before you've seen any messages. This is actually something that's really beneficial for people who want to summarize a large thread where there's a lot of messages. But in this case, we're going to be creating a Q&A bot that's going to be tailored to helping people onboard different clients. Now, we're going to go ahead and configure the system instructions. This is the base instruction that I'm going to be using, but I'm also going to be providing sample and knowledge base for the Q&A bot to help better answer questions. I've went along and I've tailored the assistant instructions tailored to my business. We're going to go ahead now and change the recommended models. You have various options from choosing from various sorts of OpenAI models. In my opinion, the best model is going to be the GPT-4 Omni, so go ahead and select this. You can also use 
from Bear's open AI access, or you can also provide your own API key. We're going to go ahead and use run bears. And then we can go ahead and start off by adding our knowledge sources. This is going to enhance your system's real time knowledge from external sources. You can provide your own files, or you can connect it with other providers to provide your own data. After you uploaded your data source, you will notice that there is a thing called tool type. And this is essentially where you can choose between two different types of tools. One tool is going to be used to help you retrieve your knowledge from your knowledge base. And the second one is going to be used so that your AI assistant can write, run, and execute code within the conversation. Once you have set your tool type, we can then add an action, which is going to enhance your assistant with additional capabilities, such as web search and external API integration. So if you're interested in image interpretation or image generation, also having web search capabilities, select the one that you would want to use, and then you can have it integrated within your AI assistant. Now, once you have specified what you want to do, you can go ahead and click on create. But you also have advanced options where you can enable code interpreter and various sorts of things like temperature and figuring the prompt uh, token limit and such forth. But we're going to go ahead and click create. And it's simple as that. We have now created a simple assistant that we can now deploy within our integrations. So you can see that within the assistance tab, we have the basic tab that's going to be allowing us to configure this anytime that we want where you can add knowledge bases to keep your uh, AI assistant up to date. You can also have it integrated within all of these different types of channels. You can also track your metrics in terms of total messages sent or seen, total users, as well as the estimated time saved. Now there's going to be threads and basically where you can view different types of messages. But now what we're going to be doing is configuring the agent so that we can connect it to our assistant. We're going to go ahead and connect it to Slack. So go ahead and configure the agent that you want to connect with. And then we can go over to the systems and then configure the AI assistant to Slack. To set this up, it's really simple. Go over to assistance and click on the assistant that you want to uh, connect to Slack. Click on connect now and then click on Slack. Now, once you are here, you can enable this. If you want to create a custom Slack bot that's specifically dedicated as an assistant within your workspace. But in this case, we're not going to be doing that. We're just going to be proceeding with the default run bear bot. Now you can configure this and you can essentially have it set with your API token, but we're going to go ahead and use the default one to showcase its capabilities within our workspace. So go ahead and select the channel for it and you can have it so that it could view all the channels and be operated on every single one. Let's say if we're going to be onboarding people, you can only have it within this particular channel. But we're going to go ahead and click on create. Once it has done that, you can configure things like setting a trigger, changing the preference, such as changing the app icon. You also have the ability to take a look at the activities and configure the connection further. But now if we are to go over to Slack, we're going to be able to start uh, utilizing this new run bear agent that we've created. This is where we can first start off by adding it to our thread. This is where we can just simply tag it. And once it has joined the thread, we can then view this thread and we can start asking it questions. So let's go ahead and ask it, what is World of AI? So we can do this by simply tagging the run bear assistant. Once we have tagged it, we can then ask the question, what is World of AI? And within a couple of seconds, we'll have a response streamed really, really quickly. And it's going to utilize our knowledge source that we had provided. And we can see World of AI Solutions is a company uh, dedicated to delivering cutting edge AI solutions. So you can see right away it is working and it's fully functional. Now let's see how great it is in terms of providing assistance. I simply ask, I want to get started with World of AI Solutions. What can I do to get started? So we can see right away it is fully onboarding us by providing us the contact and sales support, our sales inquiry email, our support email, as well as general inquiry email. Now you can see that. We're going to provide a step-by-step -step process by understanding your business, consultation, and there's custom solutions that we provide. So it does a great job in answering all the different questions that are necessary. But you can take this a step forward as this is just a simple Q&A bot. You can configure it even further by changing different types of triggers. You can change the preference and you can even change the type of assistant that it is. 
And that's how you can easily create a Slack AI personal assistant that is going to be better than a real person. And this is within a couple of minutes. This is the capability that you get with RunBear. Now, that's practically it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. I highly recommend this. This is possibly the best solution to integrate AI into Slack. So definitely take a look at this. I'll leave all these links there in the description. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access a private Discord. Follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.